Okay, you do the intro. What's going on, guys? How is it? Wait, no, just wait. Let's stop. <laughs> it's stupid. It's, it's stop. No, we can just edit and crop okay, it out. Okay, we'll edit. Okay, so what, how am I starting it? How am I opening it? He's still. <laughs> he's still training, you guys. And Daddy is just. We're attending weekly exorcisms because. Just doesn't. You can hear that. It's just mm -hmm. not okay. Mm. Tad bit. Well, anyway, welcome back, you guys, to another uh, episode of Merce in la Cocina. Is that <laughs> to, what it's called? Uh, Merce in la Cocina. Getting down in la Cocina with Merce. Yeah. I like that one. But anywho, uh, we're here today. Um, she had the idea that we were going to make some eggplant lasagna, which, unbeknownst to me, existed i didn't know about eggplant lasagna so as some of you guys may already know i've been on keto for four months now and i'm down 28 pounds um it's been a struggle to say the least but today i thought we would go to the arabic market so we went to north park produce that's what we have here in san diego and today we're gonna make um sauce on your cheese <laughs> <laughs> today we're gonna make um, an eggplant lasagna and cauliflower with tahini sauce so I'm gonna tell you guys the ingredients that you need for the eggplant lasagna first and then we'll talk about the roasted um, cauliflower with tahini so first you're going to need eggplants I'm not gonna use all these for the lasagna but you're gonna need eggplants from your market save the jokes <laughs> you're going to need diced tomatoes could be organic not organic you're going to need butter you're going to need oregano thyme pepper and salt it could be any salt that you guys prefer and then daddy you're going to need mozzarella cheese you're going to need ground beef again it just depends on you know how many you're going to be cooking for um you're going to need huevos you're going to need parmesan cheese um and you're going to need cebolla and because i love bay so much we're going to add shrooms. mushrooms to this so let me get oh, no, this we're adding mushrooms to that uh-huh so i thought you didn't like mushrooms i don't but you need to eat this too i know i'm willing Wow, okay. All right. Okay. All right, you guys. So it's just me and Phil. So I think we're only going to need one eggplant. I sliced them about half inch. You're going to also need, I forgot to mention this ingredient. I'm sorry. You're going to need one cup of almond flour. If we need more, you know, should I make? No, that should be fine. Close this up. Put this over here. Um, I'm going to tell you guys to tanteale, it just depends on how you like your seasonings, um, but you're going to add thyme, so I'm going to add a generous amount, probably like one teaspoon if you guys really want exact measurements. You're going to add pepper to taste, salt. to add a big old pinch of oregano. Alright, then you're going to mix this up. Just to break down these little clumps. all the clumps are not in it you guys and over here I just scrambled one egg and then you're going to have a big old pan or pot or whatever you guys have at home and you're going to dip these um, eggplant slices into the egg and then into this mixture the only thing I'm gonna add to this is Parmesan cheese after I finish incorporating what ingredients I just did 
And then we're gonna add butter to the pan and we're gonna fry them on each side for about a couple seconds. So let me add the Parmesan cheese and I'll get right back to you guys. Okay, you guys, so I just added the Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna do one and then I'm gonna time lapse the rest of it so that you guys can not be here all night watching me do this. So we're going to take a slice, dip it in your huevo. in your mixture and then you're going to be transferring it over here to the pan with oil okay All right, you guys, so now I've come over here and I've put some butter in here and I'm going to lightly fry them on each side and then I'm gonna just put them back. You know what, let me put a clean one. I'll just put them back on this fat back for now. Just for the sake of stacking them. You know what, I'll put it right here. Daddy, stop it. this just to avoid the aceite from jumping all over the place but again if you guys don't care to get messy then however suits you so I've turned them over so that you guys can see let them get a golden color don't forget that there is Parmesan cheese acá adentro so se va a quemar un poquito pero así va a saber mejor so don't trip I got you and I think I left it for about almost a minute about like 40 seconds on each side and we're gonna set them aside don't forget they're gonna go back in the oven anyway all right you guys so to the same pot I'm gonna add some oil and would help if I turn that on I'm going to start off with some cebolla Guys, so the ground beef is already pretty much cooked. We're going to go ahead and don't forget to this we have onion, we have the spices, we have mushrooms, and we just added the ground beef. And now we're going to add um, the tomato sauce, but we're not going to pour all of it because I'm going to use some of it to just kind of coat the bottom of this. Go ahead, baby. So this is done cooking. I coated a little bit because that's just what I wanted to do. So now we're going to assemble this. We're going to take our eggplant, Tetris it down here. <laughs> then we're going to add our ground beef.
Then we're going to add oops, some ricotta cheese. We're going to add little bits of rinsed pieces of um, basil and some mozzarella, and we're gonna repeat the process. So I'm going to top the entire top of this with mozzarella cheese. I have the oven at 425. She's about to go in there and we'll be back in about 20 minutes to check on it. I just wanted to show you guys and then we can move on to the cauliflower. So the lasagna is in the oven. As you can see, it's melting. We have our cauliflower in the oven. All I did was rinse the cauliflower and cut it in large florets. And I added some olive oil, salt, and pepper. I'm going to leave that in there for about 20 minutes and check on it. Um, in the meantime, uh, voy a exprimir unos limones, um, about maybe two lemon worths of juice. I'm going to add some tahini sauce. You can get this at your local market or on Amazon. I can leave a link below in the description so that you guys can check it out if you are interested. So we're going to add some water, some lemon, some salt, and some tahini. And then we're going to saute some onions. When the cauliflower comes out, we're going to add this sauce and the onions to the top of it with some um, almond slivers. Yummy. Alright you guys, so I'm still in the same place, I'm just checking up with you guys, and also before I continue, let me know what kind of videos you guys want. Every time I do a cooking video, I do them a little bit differently based on what your guys' requests are. Some of you guys want me to just do a full on video, no explanation. Some of you guys just want me to list the ingredients below, and some of you guys want me to kind of do like a vlog style and just explain everything. But I did want to introduce you to tahini if you haven't ever worked with it. It is very thick. And it doesn't taste all that great by itself. So what I did here again is I mixed the lime juice, water, and some salt to the consistency and texture that I like so that I can literally drizzle this. As you can see, it's kind of thick over my cauliflower and my sauteed onions. Look how good this looks, you guys. We're just gonna wait for the cauliflower and we're gonna dig right in. So before we get our plates, um, Phil has never had cauliflower with tahini and caramelized onions with almonds and I want to see if he likes it. It's good? Super healthy for you guys. Low in carbs. Oh, that sauce is fire. Yeah? All right, you guys, we're gonna serve our plate. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, we love you guys, and let me just serve our plate, and we'll close out this video. Guys, look how delicious that looks. 
I just wanted to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Today's post notification shout out goes to Leonardo Gonzalez. Thank you so much for being a writer. Um, if you guys are interested in a post notification shout out, all you have to do is subscribe, comment, turn that bell notification on, and that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for tuning in to Mi Canal. I love you until next time.